Hundreds of people showed up to support diversity in the valley and participate in the downtown diversity walk. While the rain eventually prevented that walk from taking place, it did not dampen spirits. Salipa Zavento joins us with our top story. Well, Dana, it was a very wet and cold morning for this fifth diversity walk. However, hundreds of people still came in support of the diversity and love in our community. In 2014, the diversity walk, spearheaded by Hamilton Center CEO Melvin Burks, was attended by 300 supporters. Now, attendance is in the thousands. Second year was 700 walkers. Third year, it was 1,500. Fourth year, it was 3,300. This year, it was going to be over 5,000. Unfortunately, due to intense weather, this fifth diversity walk had to be postponed. But the rain wasn't enough to keep justice warriors like Arthur Feinsod away. This kind of rally is the spirit of Terre Haute, the Terre Haute that I love, that uh, all these people in the middle of this rain and lightning and thunder would come out to say something about the important of importance of inclusion. Burks, who worked hard to start the conversation of inclusion in his community, says he was blown away by the support. I was just so humbled just to see how many individuals came out in the rain. When you have people coming together as one, regardless of your orientation, your creed, your faith, your race, your sex, is just a beautiful feeling. Feinsod says the diversity walk couldn't have come at a better time as community members remember the recent dumping of white supremacist flyers in Wabash Valley neighborhoods. Their notion of uh, exclusion, of uh, hatred towards people of color, towards Jews, towards Muslims, is not appreciated here, is not accepted here. We are better than that here. We believe in, in love and respect and appreciation across those lines. And that's what we want to state by marching here. Even though the diversity walk was rained out today, Burke says he is so appreciative of everyone who braved the weather. The goal for today was 5,000 walkers, and he hopes to see a few more than 5,000 scheduled at the next diversity walk. All right, thanks so much, Lily. Members of the diversity walk board will reschedule that event. To find out the new date, once it is decided, you can go to their Facebook page. We've also made it easy. You can go to our website, mywabashvalley.com.